Earthing of a conductor. Name itself is self-explanatory. Are you connecting this conductor to earth by any chance? Of course. By a wire by any chance? Of course. So what's the problem? Why did you wait for so long, sir? Because technically wires are involved. Technically connections are involved. Technically circuit is involved. So technically it's not pure electrostatics. So I wanted this to be the segue between the static part and the dynamic part. That's the simple reason. Okay. Otherwise conceptually you aren't going to study something new like tool wise. Okay. So you connect a conductor with earth's surface. All right. <clears throat> what is earth? Motherland. <laughs> I know earth is our mother. That's fine. And But what is earth? Uh, electrostatically speaking. Earth is actually owing to its size. It can be taken or understood as an infinite reservoir. Of what? Infinite reservoir or sink of charges. Means it has no dearth of how many charges it can provide. It has no dearth of how many charges it can absorb. Again, one more lesson. Hmm? Look how earth, how accommodating and how generous earth is. Be like earth. Earth's potential can be assumed to be zero. Key word here is what? Sir, zero. No. Sorry. The key word is assumed. If somebody says earth's potential is zero, no, inaccurate. Earth's potential is taken to be zero. But why, sir? Because the radius of the earth is 6400 kilometers right so what happens is that such a huge sphere it is okay to take it as zero because anyways there is no such thing as absolute potential so you take earth's potential for your own calculation to be zero so earthing has just received a new definition if i connect a conductor with earth what do I ensure? I ensure that after some time, the potential of that thing, that conductor becomes equal to the potential of earth. So earthing simply means that after the connections are made, the potential of both the parties, one being the conductor and one being the earth becomes equal. That's point number one. Point number two is that it's a different thing that you chose the earth's potential to be zero. So what will the potential of that conductor become? Zero. You have an isolated charged metal sphere on the screen. Can you see the, def the symbol of earthing? It's, it's actually unequal parallel lines starting from big to small. That's the symbol of earthing. And the moment you complete the circuit, the moment you earth it, what happens? The potential of that conductor becomes zero. Now problem is, how? What does it mean? I get it. How does it become zero? Now, that's a good question. Watch the graphics again. Watch the graphics again. See, what is the charge value on the sphere? Capital Q. Okay. In order for this isolated metallic sphere, in order that, that this isolated metallic sphere becomes zero potential, what is the only possibility? The entire charge should become zero, isn't it? Otherwise, the, def otherwise the potential will be KQ by R. Right, sir? So how can I make the potential zero when there's still a charge? Oh, the earth comes to rescue. It says that, hey, listen, so people are saying that your potential needs to be zero. Let me help you out. What do you need? I need this Q charge to go away. Well, I can't make positive charge flow, but I, hey, I can make electrons flow. So what if I give you minus Q amount of charge from my side? From my side, no strings attached, okay? And here we go. See what happens? See, the earth gives minus Q and this minus Q mars the plus Q and makes it zero. In other words, it kind of neutralizes the isolated metallic sphere. Immediately, a question rises in your mind. You think, so sir, basically what you are saying is that whatever you earth, its, it's charge and potential both become zero. Horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. I never said that. So don't jump to conclusions. All I said is that the potential of that quantity, which is earth, becomes zero. Total potential. And in order that the total potential becomes zero, not necessarily every time the charge needs to be zero. Hello? In this case it is. It may never 
it, it needn't be any time. It needn't be always. So case to case basis. Okay. So the definition is there on the screen. V conductor equal to V earth equal to V zero. Whenever a small size metal body, metal body is a metaphor, metaphor for conductor here, is grounded or connected to the earth, it results in charge transfer. Yeah, charge transfer will happen. Sir, why will the charge transfer happen? Very good. Look at the predicate of the sentence, the second part. The charge transfer will happen to or from the earth till its final potential becomes equal to the potential of the earth, which happens to be zero. Ah, so much talk. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. You have a already neutral metal sphere, already neutral, no charge. But there is one charge in the vicinity of that sphere. Take a look. Isolated metallic sphere, neutral, no charge on the sphere. What did you do? Two things. You brought another Q charge in vicinity. So what will happen? Induction will happen. And you earth the sphere. Is the problem correct? Now what happens? My diagram says that some charge goes from the earth. Why? Why the answer is very simple. Maybe to make the charge, to make the potential of the sphere zero. Okay. Let's say earth gave QE amount of charge to the sphere. But sir, what about those minus plus induction? Guys, induction happens in pairs. This Q charge being in the vicinity of the conductor did not create a net charge. It just polarized the body. It just induced charges, not created. Achha. Okay. Let's say Earth gave QE charge. Can you please tell me if X is the distance between the center of the sphere and that Q, what is the total potential now? V sphere, can you please tell me? So, sir, V sphere is V due to Q in the vicinity, correct? Plus V due to, you are saying Earth gave a QE, correct? But, sir, why did the Earth give QE? Hold on, Baba. Let's say QE is on the sphere now, E for Earth, okay? This V sphere is equal to K Q by X, correct, plus K Q E by its own radius R, correct. What should this be equal to? Since it is connected to Earth, it's equal to zero. Oh, nice, brilliant. So K and K cancel. Your Q E comes out to be equal to what? Sir, if I cancel K and K, my Q is coming out to be minus Q R by X. There you go. Earth has given some charge to the sphere because of earthing. That's fine. Why? To in order to make the total potential zero. And here is your answer. V sphere final is zero. And in order to make V sphere final zero, you have KQ by X plus KQ by R equal to zero, which gives you QE equal to minus QR by X. That's it. Finished. That's how you solve the problem. So how much charge Earth gave? Minus QR by X. 